So they kept talking about how Saturday was a very important day for them. The hashtag tapes take make god damn it make hit Tibbs homeless has been going on a lot. They've been talking about manic and breakdowns in their streams, and now I'm on stream doing my thing like a chicken wing, and I get a call from Tom. Now, I already know that Mayhem shared my docs of where I live, but no one knew my landlord's name or his number or anything because it's not really online. The only people who knew my landlord's name are me, David, and my mom. And I highly doubt David would do this, but my mom, ooh, you know what I mean? Tom has been getting nonstop calls, like literally nonstop. And now they're telling him that I shared his number, which is horseshit. Because I don't bite the hand that feeds me. I would share their numbers potentially. That's different. But I would never share Tom's number or my mom's number or your number, or so on and so forth, right? I want to know how the fuck they got Tom's number now. It's like the same thing with the Regency Inn lady. They found her number and that wasn't online either. How the fuck did they find it? But now they're trying to say that I did it. I told Tom, asked for a screenshot. They don't have it that shows you that wasn't me because they screenshot and record everything hoping for dirt right but now tom's getting pissed you know like you're gonna be homeless motherfucker you fucking idiot level pissed and i don't really need that shit so i'm gonna fucking hurt who are the fuck leaked that phone number i'm really gonna hurt fucking Alyssa and vivian because mind you they both have it coming now but i'm like where am i gonna fucking live when tom just loses his shit finally he's one guy the man is weak mentality, especially when it comes to non-stop harassment. You can tell he's already caving. <laughs> you got options, Brandy? Because I'm not going to live homeless. I will start killing people. Chomos. Don't get me wrong. I'll start killing chomos. But this is not okay. Like, why is Tom already fucking selling out? He's like, he's like, they say you put my number in line. Take that shit down. I'm going to go check your YouTube channel. I'm like, seriously? Seriously, I told you, Tom, what they do. I should expect this, to be honest. What's really stupid is they've openly stated that they're going to target my landlord. Because I live in a group home, and they're convinced that they can make the group home throw me out. I would like to know how exactly they got his number. Because now I'm pissed. I'm really pissed now. They're not making me buckle. They're making me angrier. I want to know where my fucking piece of shit faggot of a mother is, too. Deal with her bullshit, too. Deal with her bullshit, too. Yeah, hi. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to let you know there's a man staying on that property by the name of Jonathan Bruce Tibbetts. The man is a, he's a known pedophile and internet degenerate. I'm sure you're going to be receiving a lot of information soon. The guy's bad news. That last message is what Tom sent me about their voice messages. They've been sending a lot of these two, which is I'm going to hurt somebody, Brandy. I'm going to. This needs to fucking end. And I'm not going to fucking back down either. Someone's getting fucked up. Right now, I'm to be really real with you. I am having nothing but hateful, aggressive thoughts about Alyssa. <laughs> Because if it weren't for Alyssa, a.k.a. Mayhem, sharing my address to be trading with the M-word boy, they would never have found my landlord's name and number, and we would be going through this new shit show of, I have to find a new place to live, goddammit! Alyssa is asking for a bullet into her face, and if I go homeless, Brandy, and Winter has nowhere to go and she's put in storage, I will go to Vermont and put a cap in that bitch's face myself. Let's hope that Tom doesn't make me homeless, because I will fucking do it now. And then I'll go to Iowa and then to California. I got a few people to kick ass with in California, my mother being one of them, because what the fuck, Danielle? It's also possible my, it's also possible <laughs> that my mother gave away that number because mind you, she did have it. Only me, David, and Brand uh, me, David, and my mom. They're the only ones who had it. Of the three of us, who sold out already to these people? 
You want to talk angering things. That's a big one. I received several people from Craigslist looking for scrap and other things. It's happening a lot, too, which is why I'm really annoyed today. But, you know, the usual complete miscellaneous harassment and bullshit that no one ever wants to fucking help me fix. So I've screenshotted most of the Craigslist stuff. At this point, it's just becoming annoying, and I'm wondering if I should just call the police have them fucking deal with it once and for all. This is pissed off. Justifiably so. I mean, I have no fucking food. I'm having to fucking sit here and do the shit alone as per usual. And I have to deal with it all. And I might lose my home if it keeps going. Like, what the... Did they bring the fucking ice back or some shit? Like, what the fuck? Stupid fucking shit. This fucking Raul crap. Like, yeah, that fucking homo wants to come fucking keep harassing me. This is stupid. I'm mean, sick of it. If I can rule once a fight, I'll knock his fucking teeth out as he comes around. I think that's four scrappers or people looking for scrap, two dominoes, and four visits from the ice man. I'm deeply annoyed they're all asking me to leave I have received 20 to 40 visits today alone from just copper that's not including everything else there's also Nintendo switches bike visits people they, I've had 14 people Sending me Domino's and Papa John's. Just varying levels of each. I think, to be fair, Ashley Johnson wants a fucking fight. God damn it, she's about to fucking get one.